everyone, this is Ghostly Unknown on the Torchlight Gaming channel. Welcome to what's going to be my first Let's Play on the channel. It's of an online game called Zebo. You can find the game on the Ninja Kiwi site and other sites. Uh, we're going to jump right in here. Move my mouse up here. Uh, fairly simple. Arrow keys to move. Space to shoot. Uh, you're a blue dragon that can shoot fire, ice, and acid. I'm just gonna leave my mouse there. Uh, rocks are destroyed by ice, acids destroyed, or metals are destroyed by acid, and fire here is, or hay is destroyed by fire. And here, take the acid. Those drops on the ground uh, represent more power. Reds fire, greens acid, yellow, or white, or light blue is ice. Uh, you can push blocks around, but you can't push groups of blocks. Uh, fairly simple, really. Uh, it's really just a puzzle game. Um, do this. Push over here, this rainbow one. It's kind of a one-shot thing, but it can destroy every whatever it needs to. As it says, specials burn everything. Um, I think a better name would be specials destroy everything. But... If you have a special, it will be the next one you fire, no matter what. You don't get a choice in that. It will be the next one. So, yeah, fairly simple starting out, but it gets a lot more difficult. There used to be a level editor for this, and then it got taken down, unfortunately. I really enjoyed it, actually. But, oh well. So yeah, first real video for the Torchlight Gaming channel, other than Crazy Fish's pig riding. But I get to say I had the first series on Torchlight. Uh, so yeah, this is just mainly reinforcing the idea of moving blocks around. So yeah. Like I said, these first levels are really simple, but like I say it over and over and it doesn't change it, it gets a lot difficult later. Um, I'm not going to be trying to make any special designs with the blocks, even though you probably could if you wanted to. Nah, it's not something I'm going to bother with. It says dandelion, I think it's a key more than a dandelion. Yeah, well, difference of opinion. I'll just slide this metal block over here. Destroy that. And now if I don't screw up and fire before I need to, I pretty much have this level done with. Push all of these in there. Oh, well. Um, this, that, and push it back in. And now I just need to connect the blocks. So yeah, kind of a fun, free time killer of an online game. I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm gonna be mainly doing uh, online games, but uh. Eventually, I'll probably get bored with them and play some sort of console game. Uh, be it a PC game or another console. In a way, the PC really is a console. I mean, it is a... Depending on your computer, now, I wouldn't call mine a good gaming console. Mine's actually far from it. Mine's a small netbook that does what it needs to, but doesn't do much more. But, it's gotten me this far, so it's hard to complain about it. Uh, this level is the first one where you really have to start thinking about it, but still not too difficult. Uh, I haven't really planned this run, 
it's just gonna be one of those things of I'm gonna go through and I'm probably gonna remember most of it. Small problem, uh, not really, but you can't push the one in the corner. But still not a problem. So yeah, uh, this one here, you just, it's pretty much the only thing that you really need to do. Have all that lined up, and now we can pretty much just finish it off. Try not to take too long with these puzzles. Because they get kind of boring to watch, I recognize that. So, yeah. I'll get this down. Someone's driving by out. So it's kind of annoying. Oh well. Uh, this one here, just. Once again, connect the blocks that you can't move all four directions, like that, and now just connect everything else to them. So yeah, extremely simple so far, kind of awkward. Now uh, just make sure you don't get any of these blocks like trapped in a corner. Because then there's really nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Let's see if I can crash my computer. This one space bar click right now, which you have to do, will destroy all of the rocks on the screen. Major lag! Smash! <laughs> There we go. Fading, fading, gone, okay, now we can actually move again. And once again it goes back to just connecting everything. Just moving things around until you can get them all connected. Not a problem at all. This and now uh, that's connected. I'm just kind of doing this as I see it and not planning it out. I've kind of already said that, but not like that. So I said it again. Uh, now I think I'm just gonna start connecting things to save myself the time from moving everything. That one. up here, connect that to that, I'm, I'm not quite sure why I did that, but now I have that connected, not quite what I meant to do, oh well, now that's connected, yeah I'm just trying to connect everything as quickly as I can. Burn everything. I don't quite know why it's called Tidy the Burn, but whatever. Uh, this one here can be a bit confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, just get it set up like that for all of them and just destroy it. And you can push it in, destroy that, move to the next one. Repeat that three more times, and you finish the level. Just make sure you don't screw up pushing the hay bales or anything. That's probably the biggest concern with this. Or not, or forgetting to push one of the hay bales. Okay. Just finishing this one up. Place that, done, 
have no idea how far I am in this. I think I'll go halfway through it and just take whatever time it is there. Now, uh, for levels like these, I recommend picking up all of your uh, powers first. Uh, we can just destroy this because it's the only thing that requires the acid. Level. Uh, I usually end up destroying the hay last. I just find most levels require you to destroy the hay last, or it makes it a lot easier if you do so. So, I decide to just destroy the hay last. It's kind of a cleanup measure. So yeah, this could be labeled as a walkthrough, a let's play, or a couple other things. 